political battle is brewing on Capitol Hill over billions of dollars stolen in unemployment fraud. The National Desk Angela Brown breaks it down for us. Lawmakers are putting pressure on the White House to get to the bottom of unemployment fraud. This number right behind me is massive. The Biden administration estimates over 80 billion lost to fraud. The Secret Service puts overall fraud at 100 billion in COVID relief dollars. Behind every dollar stolen is a person, like 75-year-old Mac Williams from Ohio. Imagine his surprise receiving this letter from Job and Family Services. Did you ever receive $17,000? No, no, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Someone was receiving. It wasn't me. Criminals use pandemic relief programs as a gravy train. $87 billion in pandemic unemployment benefits paid improperly, a big portion to fraud, according to the Labor Department. Brandon Arnold, National Taxpayers Union. Staggering amounts of money and an enormous breach of taxpayer trust. I mean, we need a massive investigation here. Republicans on Ways and Means are now pushing for congressional hearings to investigate fraud. GOP leaders also introduced the Combating COVID Unemployment Fraud Act in 2021. Texas Representative Kevin Brady says the White House is dragging its feet. Right now, our Democrat colleagues are continuing to turn a blind eye to what is possibly the greatest theft of American dollars, taxpayer dollars, in American history. So what is the Biden administration doing? A multi-agency task force, which includes the Justice Department, is investigating fraud targeting unemployment insurance. The American Rescue Plan provided $2 billion in funding to prevent and detect fraud, among other things. But Adam Andrzejewski from Open the Book says that is not enough. Congress needs to appoint a special counsel, a special prosecutor, an independent commission to go after every dime of taxpayer money that was stolen. Billions of taxpayer dollars possibly lost for good. Unemployment fraud, Williams believes, could have been caught, at least in his case, because he was not working. You've been retired for how long? Since 2005. In Washington, D.C., I'm Angela Brown.